And we have learned the Republican plan to replace Obamacare comes with a big catch-22 for California. KPIXY political reporter Melissa Kane here to explain it. Melissa? Hey, Alan, let's begin by breaking down some new numbers we just got from Covered California today. Now, Covered California is the state's health care exchange. Now, according to their analysis, users currently get $5,300 a year in tax credits to help pay for the cost of coverage. The new law ta caps tax credits at $2,000 a year for people under 30, and that number increases to a cap of $4,000 for people over 60. Now, Covered California did an analysis of people living in San Francisco, and the report found that a 27-year-old earning $17,000 a year currently has a premium of about $52 a month. Under the new law, it would be $199 a month. And a 62-year-old earning $30,000 a year would see their premium go up from $209 a month to $668 a month. Of course, all the Covered California analysis assumes that people will receive tax credits and use them. But what if that wasn't possible? Because the Republican bill, as it's written now, basically prevents people from using tax credits to buy insurance in California. We're doing a great staff. Amy Everett is the California State Director of the National Abortion and Reproductive Rights Action League. You cannot use any tax credits to buy a plan that covers abortion care. And the challenge for California is that we mandated because we actually respect women and their dignity in making personal health decisions. Uh, every health plan in California has to cover abortion care. So they are in direct conflict. A California law says all insurance plans have to provide basic health services. That includes family planning services. I believe it was in 1981 that the California Supreme Court ruled that you have to consider abortion and maternity care and birth control access neutral. So if you're going to provide maternity care, you also have to provide abortion care and family planning services. But the Republican proposal is clear. No funds authorized or appropriated by the act can pay for any health plan that covers abortion. And since all California health plans cover abortion, that means Californians who get tax credits couldn't use them here to buy insurance. Think that we are facing a bit of a collision course. Jonathan Keller is the president and CEO of the California Family Council. He says it's up to California to change its laws. I, I think the danger is here that if California does not change course, uh, then they would be putting their citizens at risk for not being eligible for these uh, federal subsidies. Now, a group of churches has already sued the state of California over the abortion coverage requirement, and that case is set to go to trial in June of 2018. Melissa Kane, KPX5.